Uh, welcome to this presentation on the basal ganglia. The first thing that I would like you to uh, make note of is what are the major structures that constitute the basal ganglia? First, we have two structures that collectively constitute the striatum. One of those uh, members is the caudate nucleus that we see here in the lateral aspect of the lateral ventricle. And then the second member of the striatum is the putamen that you see labeled uh, next on this image. Another member of the basal ganglia uh, would be the globus pallidus. Uh, it has two segments, an internal uh, segment shown in through here, as well as an external uh, segment or division shown here. I will now take you to another image to show you yet another member of the basal ganglia, and this is the substantia nigra, the black substance that resides uh, in the midbrain. And you can see the substantia nigra right in through here, as well as over in through here on the opposite side. The last member of the basal ganglia is the subthalamic nucleus, uh, however, uh, that is not uh, shown. Uh, this is a great three-dimensional image showing uh, the topographic relationships of the basal ganglia. Uh, the first thing to point out here is not a member of the basal ganglia, but the lateral ventricle. So here's your lateral ventricle in through here, coming down in through here, and into the temporal uh, area in through here. The basal ganglia that are shown in this representation include the caudate nucleus. We can see its relationship uh, then to the putamen. And then lastly, uh, we can see the relationship of these two structures to the globus pallidus. Now, this takes us to a more complicated uh, aspect of the basal ganglia, and this would be the intrinsic connections or the circuitry uh, that exists between the components of the basal ganglia as well as the thalamus and the cerebral uh, cortex. So you see various brain structures identified over and through here. And so now we, I will guide you uh, through these uh, connections. Uh, first is the striatal palatal uh, connection that we have between the members of the striatum with the globus pallidus. Uh, these fibers are inhibitory as they are GABAergic. We also have a pathway between the striatum and the substantia nigra. This is the striatal nigral pathway, and we see that pathway extending from the striatum to the substantia nigra. That is also inhibitory and is GABAergic. Uh, the globus uh, pallidus, its external uh, segment, uh, connects with the subthalamus. And so we see that connection right in through here. This is also inhibitory in that it's GABAergic. Uh, subthalamic uh, output uh, to the substantia uh, nigra uh, is shown here in this connection. And uh, this is an excitatory pathway in that it is glutamatergic. And then the last consideration is the connection that exists between the substantia nigra and the striatum. And we see that connection here and this is going to be dopaminergic. So dopamine is the neurotransmitter. 